should try this. Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. Back with the old man and uh, you guys seem to like the uh, last urbanized kind of exploration type gig we did. So we're back out here doing it again. So kind of like the smallmouth expedition we did the other day that you guys seem to like. There is smallmouth in this lake as well, but we're going for, in my opinion, the tastiest fish that swims in the water. That's our target agenda today. Um, possibly get some smallmouth, possibly get a mixed bag in within those fish, but our goal is the tastiest fish that swims in the water. In my opinion, fish tacos, something like that, whip them up, make them real good. It's awesome. So as far as that goes, we're mainly going to be throwing artificials. We might switch around if uh, that's what it takes, but we're thinking we're uh, going to be able to get on these fish. So old man, let's, let's do, do it. it. Here we go. All right, let's try this. And this is what we're working with today is the ladies and gents. The old fashioned beetle spin. The old beetle spin. The 1960s, I believe. When I was a little boy, I used to watch a show, Virgil Ward. For all you old people. <laughs> and he used to use those in the 60s catching trophies. Pretty cool little fellers. Might go right over here. You know those big old tadpoles? Oh wow, those are some giant tadpoles. I'll just work her real slow. You know, there's one. Oh, I missed him. Looks a little deeper over here. Yeah, sun's still high a little bit, but. Yeah, a little guy. Little bitty smally. Got one? A little smally again? Nice little smally guy. Later, bud. Another smally? Yeah, it's deeper over there where that channel is. Oh, oh it is a perch. Nice. That is what we're after. This is a little one. The tastiest fish in the water. Yeah, you can tell it gets real deep in this channel right here. Just kind of doing a slow retrieve. The sun's still pretty high and the water clarity's real, real clear. So I might have to get a little bit later in the evening before it starts to get good, but you never know. I got one already. There's one. That's a smally guy. A little bit bigger than the last one, but not by much. These guys are sure cool though. Fat little fella. Alright, bud. There's one another perch, maybe no. Smally guy. No, it is a perch. There you go. Another little perch, not real big. He's he's a fatty. Not a giant, but got his head and tail and put him on the grill. And tin foil would be perfect. Here's that perchy guy you just caught. He's got a little wound on him. A little bit bigger of a smallie at least. Yeah. They're big, but. Yeah. Still a smallie, still cool. What color are you throwing? Maybe it's the color that the perch like. I got a bright color too. Oh, there you go. Smallie. Running like a smallie. Oh, it is a perch. That was a feisty perch right there. Need it better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Well, that's three perch for the old man, zero for me. I got orange and yellow. You would think it wouldn't matter, but let's try it. Oh, there's something swimming right there. See if I can get him. There he is, another perch. No, I think this one might be a smally. The way he's fighting. Yeah, it's a smally guy. Not a bad smally, but not real big. Yeah, about the same size as the last one. All right, what's different about these baits here? I think it's a fish one. <laughs> there it is. That's a small guy. Is it a perch? Yeah, it is a perch. There we go. This might be a bigger guy. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good eater right there. That guy's got some cool colorings right there. Nice old perchy guy on the beetle spin. Ooh, barely hooked. Cool looking fish. Another perch? Sure to be, yep. Oh wow, he kind of gave up in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> he surrendered. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, this guy's got me, I quit. Nice fat, healthy fish. 
You want me to take them up? Yeah. All right, filling up the grill. There is no size limit on these, by the way, just in case y'all are wondering. We got ourselves a hefty dinner already. I'm on the board. Oh, right here. Feisty feller. Oh, another big perch. Not a giant, but he'll eat. Look at that guy. Wow, he inhaled that one. All right, another nice looking perch. Filling her up. All right, competition at its finest. All right, I, I lost. The same log I got before. Oh, I thought it was fish. <laughs> Seems like they follow it right as it kind of drops off off that deeper end right there. There we go. I was reeling real slow on that one. Smalley? No, Perchy. Nice. Wow, he choked that one. There we go. Another Perchy to the bag. Add to the dinner plate. My tail's seen better days. That'll work though. Weird, the first couple fish were all Smalley's, now we're getting all Perch. Mm -hmm. Oh, right off the, oh. He hit it right off the bat. There you go. God, he was right over, oh, that's a good one. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of figuring it out and you can have a great day. God, there's one sitting right up in there. Keeps pulling my tail down. I'm gonna get him right here. Not terribly deep over here. It's only about five feet deep, it looks like, but the water's still early in the year being colder. They don't seem to matter, I guess. Or it doesn't seem to bother him. There you go. Feisty little feller. He's mad. Oh, it's Molly. Those fellers sure fight. Seems if you can get it right on that lip right there, it's fairly good. Let it sink a little bit and just a slow roll and boom. Right up by these sticks. I'm gonna try the old sparkle red. Go try these bad boys. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, he's a smaller guy. All right, I'm gonna switch up to the old uh, nice sparkly red. Gnarly looking fish right there. Smaller guy? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go try over here. All right, let's try it back in here. This looks pretty good. Might be snag filled too. We're gonna try it. Ooh, that was a hit. Oh. There's a lot of little critters back in here. Oh, there's a million tadpoles too. Holy crap. Look at all these. A bunch of frogs too. Look at the size of these tadpoles. These are giant. There's some big boys. Look at this dude. Meow. Look at these guys. Big old fat feller. Hey, buddy. Anything in this little feller? Whoa. A lot of frogs. All right. I'm going to try this. There's a giant, giant bullfrog right here. See if this works. See if they like the beetle spins. Didn't really think that was gonna work, but I got him. Oh, he was just hanging on. <laughs> Beetle spins catch frogs too. This looks pretty juicy back in here. Wonder if I can whip up a critter out of here. Oh, it's deep, deep. This might be pretty good. Wow, this is a straight shelf down. Let's see if anything's hanging up by this timber. Oh, right here. Oh, I saw him hit it right here. That was a little smally. He annihilated it. That was cool. The water's so clear, I could see him come up and hit that. Try again. A lot, a lot. Of, I don't have the polarized lens on you guys. There's a lot, a lot of underbrush in here. Makes it tougher casting. Where you want. Something just hit it right there. Let's see if there's anything right along here. Oh! Little feller, little perchy guy, little tiny feller. Yeah, there was a big one that shot out after it and this one hit it first. 
This is the third one that I've had. Just a little feller. Hey, everybody. All right, rocking with the nice little jiggy. Look at this dude. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a creek chub. If you guys have a better idea, drop a comment down below, but it looks to be a giant creek sucker or something. Look at this dude. On the jig. Now that would be great river bait. That is an interesting creature right there. On the jig, he smoked it. Very strange. This is a big, big dude. All right, so I thought this camera was going. I guess it wasn't. Um, but here's another look at this feller. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what, if you guys know what that is on his head, it kind of looks like a crown type thing. I, I think it's a parasite or something like that. I don't think it's actually on all the fish like this. If you guys know what that is, drop a comment down below. Here's a better look at it. But giant, giant creek chub. Uh, very, it's not a sucker. It doesn't have the mouth on the bottom. Very, very interesting thing. I, I'm not exactly sure what I was going to do with him. I was going to let him go, but I am hitting the river tomorrow, so I might use him as bait. But that's kind of the cool thing I like about hitting different bodies of water and just kind of flooded back pools and stuff like this with the creeks running in. You never know what you're going to catch. I definitely did not come out here thinking today I was going to catch one of those on a jig. So, pretty cool place. All right, guys, there you have it. A little, another little urbanized exploration, and we figured we were going to end it on that cool little creek chub I caught on the jig so that was pretty cool spending time with the old man going out there catching a lot of fish it was a great day and oh we only fished what an hour and a half yeah it was great yeah sometimes the right time of year you figure it out and you can just have a good time out there not to mention we got a heck of a dinner for us so um, if you guys like this video enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget that subscribe button catch you on the next adventure